Hey guys, my name is Jamie Anderson. I'm a professional snowboarder and a two-time Olympic gold medalist, and this is how I work it. I'm gonna take you through 24 hours of my beauty and wellness routine. I first started snowboarding when I was nine years old. My older sisters got into snowboarding. I have five sisters and two brothers, and we all just love to snowboard. We got into riding at a young age in our home mountain, Sierra at Tahoe. Quickly became our daycare. I knew right away at like 10 years old, I just loved snowboarding. I won my 18th X Games medal this year. I have four SBs, a couple world championship titles and US Open and a couple Olympic medals. I've been in probably like a hundred professional events. I would say I train probably like four hours a day. Definitely snowboard two or three, and then I would say an hour doing yoga or some other type of recovery. When I was younger, I was such a tomboy. I hung out with all the boys, and I think that's why I got really good at snowboarding at a young age, because I had no fear. I do remember a point in time where even my parents, I think, were afraid of the industry and just like me being a young woman in a pretty male-dominated sport and traveling around and kind of like the party vibe. <laughs> Some snowboarding can have growing up with some people that hated on me or maybe didn't think I could do it. I usually would just use that as fuel to keep doing my thing. The most rewarding part of being a snowboarder is the privilege of doing what I love. I really feel so thankful to be able to travel and see so many beautiful places on this planet. And I feel thankful that I get to be an athlete and use my body. It gives me more motivation to stay healthy and stay grounded and work out and make sure I'm at my like peak performance level because I feel so lucky to be able to do what I do. Being a pro snowboarder and working with all my sponsors, I feel so fortunate I've been able to design my own line from my snowboard bindings, eyewear, outerwear, and I've always loved art and design, so it's been so fun to put that into my own style. Pretty much everything head to toe, and just like seeing all the young girls riding my gear is so fun. I started a charity a couple years ago. It's called the Jamie Anderson Foundation. I have compassion for growing up in a mountain town and maybe not being able to afford to ski and snowboard, so I wanted to give back to kids that don't have that opportunity. and give them a chance to get out on the mountain, live that lifestyle, and hopefully make healthy, good choices moving forward in life. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. My routine fluctuates quite a bit. I don't really like get up right away. I kind of like to take my time. I use my beamer mat first thing in the morning, which is a pulsed electric magnetic device, and it kind of just helps circulate your blood. Usually I turn that on, lay in bed for like 20 or 30 minutes, stretch a little bit, and then I feel like in the morning, I really like to do like a little self-care. My skincare routine in the morning is pretty simple. A couple days a week, I like to use a dry brush on my face and my whole body, usually before I shower. Just kind of helps clear off any dead skin and helps exfoliate. Before I shower, sometimes I like to use like an oil, a cleansing oil, and use some sunscreen before I go on the mountain. But before I go shredding, I don't really wear any makeup. I kind of keep it simple and just try to protect my skin and lips. Spending so much time in the mountains, my hair can get extremely dry. But I just try to keep it natural. I use some oils. I've recently been using the doTERRA hairline. They have a hydrating shampoo and conditioner and then an oil you put on after. And I really love it. It doesn't have any bad ingredients. It's really natural feels clean. I often oil pull first thing, brush my teeth, take a shower. I really love essential oils. I'll often use something really light and fresh in the morning, like maybe wild orange or lemon, and that just kind of helps infuse that like citrus feeling. I also really have been loving the doTERRA Rose Roll-On. Rose is amazing for your skin. I often use it on my chest and like under my eyes, and I love I love it, it's really grounding, it smells good. Good morning! I feel like in the morning I like to hydrate a lot. I don't have a huge appetite and I don't really like to eat before I snowboard, so I'll usually have tea, coffee, maybe a smoothie, and then head to the mountain. 
being an athlete, you definitely use your body so much. And like the number one thing that creates like stress on your body and inflammation is lactic acid. And that's from dehydration, from working too hard. So if you can break up your lactic acid, eat a really alkaline diet, like fresh food, a lot of green foods, juices, clean water, it just helps your body recover faster so that you don't deal with that like really sore day after maybe some crashes or just a big day on the mountain. I feel like hydration is the most important thing when it comes to beauty and wellness. I think a lot of times we think about externally what we can put on ourselves to feel more beautiful, but I think real beauty comes from within and when you're organs are really healthy and your body is really hydrated and you're sleeping a lot and you're thinking positively, I feel like you just radiate and glow. So definitely don't forget to stay hydrated. The last about 10 years, I've had an alkaline water machine and it pretty much helps purify your water, it takes out all the chlorine and fluoride and helps oxygenate it so that your body can absorb this water a lot more. I use a unit called the living water unit and they're great. Clean water is essential and unfortunately we're not quite getting our water from springs anymore. During like the snowboard season, I don't really do much working out. I do like a kind of gentle routine, just some like cat cows, maybe a downward dog, and just try to stay flexible because obviously snowboarding, you work out your whole body. So you want to be able to elongate everything, stretch out and make sure you're recovering as fast as possible. All right, it's about 10 a.m. I am in my Tahoe place, which I don't really live here full time. Gosh, my bag's a mess. I've been on the road for like two months right now. Most of the time I'm in like this, like a sweatsuit, maybe some skate shoes, a toque or a little beanie, just comfortable stuff. Like when I travel, I'm always in like leggings or a sweatsuit and I barely even bring jeans on the road because I feel like all I do is snowboard and chill. So my attire is like very relaxed mountain steez, I would say. So although I'm on the mountain and I'm pretty covered up with my goggles and face mask, there's so much reflection off the snow. So it's really important to protect your skin on the mountain. So you definitely want to use sunscreen when you're on the mountain. Snowboarding is a winter sport and it's usually really cold but the springtime brings that nice warm weather where you can shred in a t-shirt, sunglasses. I think I prefer riding in like the middle of winter, fresh pow. After it snows and there's a bunch of beautiful snow that's un untouched, that's fresh powder. Here she is. I go shredding probably around nine or 10. I like having simple things in my backpack, like Fresh and Lean has some great jerkies I'll have. They'll have maybe like some nuts and seeds, but nothing to really like weigh me down too much. My training is a little bit loose, I would say. I always have been a kind of free-spirited human snowboarder, whatever you want to call it. And I haven't really had one way to find my success. I worked with a coach when I was a kid on the Sierra Tahoe team, but from about 15 to 25, I didn't have a coach. I just rode with my friends and kind of found progression and inspiration through that. But going to the Olympics and being on that type of level, the last five years I've been working with the US team coaches and they've been really great. They pretty much just kind of observe, they watch you ride, They connect with you on what tricks you're working on. One of the most difficult tricks I've learned so far is a front side double cork 1080. It's pretty much three full rotations and two flips and it took me forever to learn. Tricks are really hard. It's a roller coaster of emotions. You really have to get out of your comfort zone and there's a big chance of getting hurt. I've had a lot of injuries in my career, some surgeries and ruptured spleen, broken ankle, broken elbow, couple concussions, hurt my shoulder last season. I've 
I've had a couple of pretty bad crashes where I've gotten ice burn on my face and I thought it would scar for sure. But using oils like frankincense and lavender diluted with like a coconut oil or something to break it up is amazing. It really helps with scarring and even helps with like lines. If I am really sore or if I had a crash, I've been loving the Just Live like recovery rub. It's for sore muscles. It just has like this nice minty feel and I notice a huge difference when I'm really sore and need a little extra love for recovery. It's kind of like obviously a high impact sport, so I feel like we're always beating ourselves up a little bit. That's why our recovery and like home routine is so essential for our overall well being. When I'm done shredding in the early afternoon, maybe 1 or 2 p.m., I'm hungry, so. I really love to have like whole food, whether it's like a nice acai bowl with some granola, bananas, etc. Or maybe I'll have like a curry bowl with rice and veggies, some protein. I'm not on any type of strict diet, so I kind of just try to eat seasonally. And when we're in like Switzerland in the middle of winter, it's a lot more meat, so I eat that. So I'm definitely pretty adaptive with my routine because it's kind of ever changing. Traveling and living life on the road is, I feel like, an art. It's really hard to pack everything you need to feel good and grounded for, you know, sometimes I'm on the road for two or three months at a time. I feel like some of the essentials for me are things like my essential oils. I'll even bring incense. Definitely lip balm. I'm always in high elevation and my lips get so dry. So I've been loving this Evan Healy. It's like a rose balm and it's amazing. You can use it for under your eyes, any like dry skin. And I also love the essential oils. They really help me stay grounded and feel something that's familiar. Cause you know, our senses are so key. So when I get to a new hotel and put on some frankincense in the diffuser, I'm chilling. Come back and it's like really nice and grounding. And also the Beamer. I've been traveling with the Beamer for the last four years and I definitely don't leave home without it. It helps not only with my physical recovery, but also just my energy, my overall happiness. And I love it. I love it all. I bring obviously a huge snowboard bag with all my equipment and then I have a pretty big duffel bag and they're both usually around 50 pounds so I would say I'm traveling with like around 100 plus pounds and then in my backpack I always bring my journal, computer, headphones, maybe a book or two. I love writing. I started journaling at a really young age and I think I'm probably gonna write some books one day. I don't journal every day, but I always have it on the road. And usually when I have some time, like either on a flight or a long road trip, I definitely like to use my journal as kind of self-therapy to connect with myself, to set goals, to use as reflecting on wherever I am or whatever I'm doing. I love me time. It's good for me, good for my soul, like getting out and going for a little nature walk, maybe going for a bike ride loop, or go to the skate park if the snow's melted. I like to go to yoga when I have time. I feel like if I could get a couple days a week at a yoga class, that really helps my mental well-being. Uh, just being able to check out and my mom has always been a huge mentor and staying healthy and grounded and really taking care of not only our physical health but our mental health, emotional health, spiritual health and really just trying to be our own best versions of ourself. I also love to cook. I feel like that is really meditative and makes me really happy to just be in the kitchen cooking food for my friends or family. When I'm home in Canada with my boyfriend Tyler, I love to cook. He'll usually do breakfast, but I love to do dinner. We don't really have meat, but there's a little bacon and a poached egg on the salad and lots of greens and cabbage and broccoli and potatoes to stay grounded. I like to like roast a lot of veggies and I'll usually cook like quinoa or rice and maybe a bean or a protein, maybe some steak or fish. Just try to keep it whole. Nothing too fancy. I'm not like gluten free or dairy free. I kind of have a little bit of everything, but try to just keep it real. Most of the time, I still cheat and have my ice cream stash in the freezer and food at the mountain, fries, whatever, but 
I like the 80-20 rule, like do your best most of the time, but definitely live life and enjoy the benefits. I'm gonna show you my evening routine. I just turned on a little frankincense. It's really grounding and calming. I'm gonna wash my face. I really don't use a ton of products. I've been loving the Yarrow Palm oil uh, for your face. It's really blue. Yarrow Palm has a lot of amazing healing benefits. I also like to make like a Himalayan sea salt scrub and I'll use that on my skin to exfoliate and just keep your skin feeling fresh and clean. I try to floss as much as I can. I feel like it's a little underrated, but definitely floss, brush, use a nice face oil, a hydrating lip balm, and I do my beamer again at night as kind of like a wind down. So I kind of start my day with the beamer and some movement and then again, end my day. I actually have the pad um, in my bed, like underneath my sheets. Helps uh, micro circulation of blood in your body. Therefore, it's just helping everything. Um, inflammation, gut problems, any injuries. Sometimes I'll make my own face oil with just a, like a little bit of coconut, frankincense, lavender, and it's amazing, really calming, and I actually see a huge difference in my skin when I'm using them regularly. And then also at night, I've been loving to use these Just Live CBD gummies. They have a calming gummy and a sleep gummy, which is just really good. It doesn't affect your psyche at all, but it really calms your nervous system and kind of helps your muscles and your body go into like rest and restore mode. And those have been really nice to add into my routine this winter. With all these routine things, remember to give yourself grace. Things can't always be perfect and we can't always be on point with food, fitness, everything. Just learning to like take care of yourself, take care of your spirit, go through motivation. When you want to take a day off and just rest and nourish, honor that. When you feel more energized to go out and work out and send it, like follow that. I feel like even when I'm going into an Olympic year, I try not to drastically change my life or routine because I don't like to stress out and sometimes I get so nervous. So although I want to really do my best next year at the Olympics, I'm trying to just keep it chill, like enjoy my day-to-day -day life and not like change things too much because what I've been doing for so long has been working and I know how to kind of like find that rhythm. So definitely always learning more and evolving, but nothing too crazy. Just kind of hold it down. I feel like when we feel good, we do good. And when I am taking care of myself and I'm happy and I'm grounded and I'm strong and I'm feeling like clear in my mind and spirit, I definitely perform better. So for me through my career, I've just been genuinely trying to really have fun and trying to spread the love and give back to those in need. And I always felt like when I was younger that 30 was really old and turning 30 this year, I actually feel healthier and more empowered than ever. So I'm really excited to just get healthier, get stronger. The Olympics are next winter. I would love to go back and try to win another gold medal, no pressure but definitely working this next year on going back to the Olympics and staying healthy, staying happy, and enjoying each moment. Sometimes I'm a bit of a night owl and I'll be up till maybe midnight. If I'm in like a really busy competition week, sleep is key. I usually go to bed early and try to get at least eight hours. All right, guys, I'm gonna check out. Thank you so much, Allure. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, cruising through a day in the life with me. Hope you got some good tips and I send you lots of love and good vibes. Take care.